In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Xbox error code E203. Now, according to Xbox support, the first thing you should try and do is reset your console. So I want you to fully turn off your console and I want you to unplug the power cable from the back and leave it out for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now, once you've done that, you can plug your power cable back in and try and turn on your console again and see if you're still getting that error code. Now, if you're still having this issue, what we're going to have to do is to put your Xbox console into safe mode. To do this, unplug your power cable, plug it back in, press and hold the sync button on your Xbox, and press and hold the power button at the same time while starting it up. Once you've heard the first beep, you can let go of the power button, and then you can let go of the sync button, and this will put you into safe mode. The next thing Xbox support recommends is you try and update your system offline using a USB device in the top right corner option. Now, if you can't do that, you do have the option of resetting your Xbox and restore it to factory defaults. I recommend you click on this and you can actually try first by keeping the games and applications. So you're going to save a lot of the stuff on your Xbox. And if that doesn't work, you're probably going to have to remove everything. This is essentially just wiping the console and it'll be exactly how you got it when you first got your Xbox. Now, if you've tried both of these options, you've removed everything and you're still getting this issue. In that case, the final step, according to Xbox support, is your console likely needs to be repaired, so you're going to have to bring it into the shop or send it out to them. So if this video was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.